All right, let's see if we give this another try. I'm going to try and reproduce this in something that's easy for you to understand. I did it already once, but it would not save, so let's start all over again. The font I used here was called Freshman. The font down here is Brody, or Brody D. So let's begin. We want to take this, and we want to make it... Uh, uh, waterfall up and waterfall down. So we're going to start with the text here. I'm going to hold down my control key and hit C for copy and then control and V Victor for paste and then I'm going to use my arrow keys and I'm going to just move it up to about there. All right. Next thing we need to do is we need to make this an outline. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click here, make it disappear. I'm going to right click here to put an outline around it. I'm going to come up to here and I'm going to convert it to curves. Where it says hairline, I'm going to make it six points. And now I'm going to come over to my rectangle tool and I'm going to start right about there and I'm going to cover the area I want to disappear and that should be it right about there I'm going to right click on the spot up here to make the outline disappear I'm going to left click on white I'm going to lasso both of these and I'm come up here and group now I'm going to use my arrow keys. I'm going to run it down. Oops, small problem. Stacking issue. I'm going to right click on the text, go to order, to back of page. All right, now I can see what I'm doing. I can move it down about where it needs to be. I need to do this two more times. So, control C for copy, control V as in Victor for paste. I'm going to right click, go to order to back of page. I'm going to use my arrow keys and I move it up and we're going to do it one more time. Control C for copy. Control V is in Victor for paste. Right click, order, to back of page. I'm going to use my arrow keys to move it up where it needs to be. All right, now we need some down here too. So I'm going to, again, control C for copy, control V for paste. This time, to make it a little quicker, I'm going to hold control down. I'm going to click on this. Oh, let's try that again. I'm going to click here, hold down control. Well, one more time. Three's a charm. Hold down control. Nope. Click on it. Now hold control. There we go. Click because if you if you click control and then click on it, it's going to choose whatever just just whatever you clicked on. So you have to uh, you have to choose the whole thing first, and then come down and drop it. Now, as you see over here, we need to see the bottom of this text. So come back up here where it says ungroup objects. We did click out. Click back on. Use your arrow keys to move this up to cover the top part. Notice I got a little, just a little tad of the A showing. We want that gone. Going to move that box down to about there. All right. Now, I'm going to take this. I'm going to lasso both of them back up here and, and group them. Control C for copy. Control V is in Victor for paste. Start running down. Remember, we've got the issue with stacking again, so we right click, order to back of page. And we'll move it down just a tad more. One more time, control C for copy, control V for paste. Let's, all, let, let's just click on this now, right click, order to back of page, arrow keys, move it down, take our Realtor Life, grab all this. Well, let's do it this way. Grab all that. 
arrow key, hold on. Oh, there's that stacking issue again with all this chosen. Right click, order to back of page, move it into place, and we are done. I hope this helps. I hope I didn't go too fast, and I hope I was as clear as mud.